Hello friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to run a dedicated server. Uh, the benefits of this is that you can actually uh, test uh, all your online features of your project. In our example we're going to use ELS v3 since it's fully replicated. Uh, so to start off we're going to need to make uh, two file documents. So let's go to my folder new one. So here we're going to our first file will be host uh, ALS3 uh, and the second file will be uh, join ALS3 uh, and this is a client client side uh, okay so we need now to call the location of our engine editor to do this go to your uh, uh, local disk where you installed the engine and uh, look for epic games and then you have all the versions that you're using so for our project here it's uh, 23 go to engine binaries and go to 64 and just look for make sure the unreal engine editor in this folder so copy the address of this location and then just type in uh, UE4 uh, editor. So to do that, I'll just copy this simple way. And here it's going to be EXE. Close and space. Next step, we're going to need to locate the project folder. So go to Epic Launcher and just show in folder copy the address of the project okay and next step is we're gonna need to actually uh, copy and call the project the UA project uh, type project. so just copy the name of your project folder and add your project and the next step is we're going to need the map that we're going to host the game on. In this example, we're going to use this. Okay. And we're going to need to call some commands line. And I'm going to add this link in the description of this video. So that way you can actually uh, use whatever commands you like here. In our example, we're going to need view and we're gonna need the server and the game. Okay. So here we're gonna call server. So we're gonna space and we're gonna call log space and no steam. Alright. And we're gonna need to save this as a batch file. Save as. And here, since we cannot select batch file, just dot bat save if we check now our folder we should have host ALS3 batch file so we're gonna copy everything and we're gonna save this close and go to join ALS3 we're gonna paste all together but we're gonna do some change here so instead of server we want game and instead of the map we're gonna need to call an IP address of your computer to do this just go to command prompt and look for IP config and just copy the IPv4 address and it's my case 100056 so here just type in 10 0 0 56 uh, the next step is we're gonna need to also do some uh, uh, resolution for our window so here we're just gonna type in uh, res x equal uh, for example 800 and res y equal 900 
100 and windows position we're going to say when x zero and windows y equal 20 and we're going to need to save it double check everything and save this as a batch file as well save as and here we just need to type that save close this close that so now we should have host and join uh, <coughs> if you want to spawn since there is no uh, a spawn here we have to make sure you have a player start otherwise you're not gonna be uh, spawning all right so let's test it so first we're gonna host run the dedicate server as you can see it's running and the next step is client and here you go you run the client so now we can actually test it on a dedicated server so test all your features and here an example of ls3 i noticed there is an issue is when sometimes when you the window smaller so we're gonna make it uh, window it so to add this feature go to join here and just edit and it should be command line window window right here so just copy this and add it on the joint so here copy this and save so now we should run host l3 and run client one See, uh, we could run another client. And now we can visually see if everything is working. And that's about it. And this is how your game will run on a dedicated server. Good. good. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I hope this is gonna benefit you guys. And see you with the next video.